welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I'm going to be showing you this brand new set called Feathered Friends for Simon Says Stamps Stamp Timber Events. This is an exclusive set only available at Simon Says Stamp for a limited time so make sure to go check it out and let's go ahead and create a fun card with it. Here I have Lawn Fawn's stitch rectangle dies and I'm trying to decide which one to use and I like to lay out my stamps and it kind of gives me an idea of how everything's going to look and that's one thing I love about clear stamps is you can kind of set your card up before you even stamp it. And now that I've chosen my rectangles I can go ahead and die cut them out of some white cardstock and you'll see how nicely those line up with that great stitching detail. Now I thought it would be fun to create my own custom pattern paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and set both the large feather and the smaller feather up on some blocks. And I'm gonna use Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that I can cope it color later. And I'm just gonna start stamping these leaves all the way around the outside part of this die cut piece. And I'm gonna alternate between the large feather and the smaller feather. That way I can really decide where each one's gonna go and get a really nice variety. Now, as I stamp my last feather there, I'm gonna go ahead and take the panel that's gonna go in the center and see if there's any spots where I feel might be a little bit empty. And then I can go ahead and add that smaller feather in and just kind of fill in all of those spots. One last quick feather and my pattern is all done. And now I'm ready to add some Copic marker coloring. And I'm gonna do some really simple two color shading because I'm gonna have to color a lot of feathers. So I thought I'd better make it pretty easy. So what I'm doing is putting my lightest color down in the center, then layering over my darker color over that center piece. And then I'm gonna blend that out and fill in the rest of the feather. And I'm gonna use this method, no matter which color I'm doing, I'm still gonna use the same method. That way the leaves all kind of coordinate. And it adds a little bit of shading, but it's easy to do a lot of them, which is really nice. And you'll see, I'm gonna start off with my red and then I'm gonna start filling in the other colors because I'm not quite sure where I want the colors to end up. So I thought, okay, I'll mix all of these different colors together and then add more pink and then add more yellow and then add more turquoise. Um, and that's a fun way to kind of build this pattern and really have fun with a lot of different colored markers. So I decided to lay that panel on top and I started realizing that it kind of needed a fourth color, but I didn't want to introduce something too different. So I decided to use a lighter turquoise there to fill in some of those fun feathers. And then now I can just add my last color. And now as I laid my white stitch piece on it, I realized that I thought it kind of needed a colored background. And so I decided to use my markers to create a background. And you'll see I'm testing it there in a part that's gonna be covered up in case I didn't like it. And um, I thought it looked pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this really light BG10 marker to just start filling in my area. And you can see I'm just marking off the sections that don't need color because it's gonna be covered up. And I'm just gonna just go all the way around really simply around those feathers and create my own colored base too. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out these cute little hugging birds here with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that I can color them in with Copics. And you'll see I'm gonna stamp them out twice and that's because I tend to make mistakes. So I always like to stamp it out twice so I have another one to work with if I happen to mess up. And then I'm gonna use similar colors from the leaves to do some really cute shading on the birds. and then just add some fun color to their beaks. And then I'll go ahead and fussy cut them out. Once they're all cut out, I would like to clean up the edges a little bit because my cutting's never quite perfect. So I'm using a Memento Tuxedo Black marker just to go around all of the edges and give it a really nice finished look. And here you'll see, once again, I'm kind of planning out my little scene that I'm gonna create using the clear stamps. I'm trying to decide which heart stamp to put above them. And I really like that solid heart, so I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping. And I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Black Ink, which I love, because it's so crisp and bright. It's really perfect for sentiments. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp Friends Forever. 
And then I'll use some slate colored ink to stamp the little wire for the birds to stand on. Then I can go ahead and add the birds to that in some Simon Says Stamp black ink. And then I can layer out my colored and cut piece right on top. So as I laid my finished panel over top, I thought it was kind of getting lost in all of those feathers. So I'm using some American Crafts cardstock here in this really great kind of raspberry color that coordinates. And I just created a little 16th of an inch border all the way around. And I thought it really made the panel pop off the top of the card. And so now I can use my Martha Stewart scoring little mini board here to score my standard size card base. And I'll go ahead and just fold that edge down, make it really nice and crisp. And then I thought it would be fun to decorate the inside of my card. I don't do this very often, but I think it's really cool to have a fun little surprise for the recipient inside of the card. And I really wanted to use this little heart border stamp in these music notes too. So I thought this would be a fun way to just add some extra surprise for my card. And then I'm gonna use the same Copic colors just to fill in those hearts. That way it all coordinates. And I think it just looks so cute. It would look really cute on the outside of the envelope too. Then now I can go ahead and adhere my panel to my card base. And then you'll see that the card is all done and I just love how it turned out. And I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this fun exclusive stamp set for Stamptember. Uh, please share with us, I can't wait. And I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.